Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023 being held in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio now uh, by the Minister of Communications and Digital Technologies for the Republic of South Africa, Minister Mondli Gungubele. Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much, Max, and uh, very grateful to your viewership. Thanks for the opportunity. Now, I wanted to start off by asking you the World Ready Communication Conference. It's a major event in ITU's calendar. Uh, I wanted to find out what's, uh, why is it important to you? Well, uh, it's quite important for a number of reasons. One, the world is trying to, trying to stay together in a coherent manner to ensure that there's inclusivity, there's equality, to ensure that developing nations find uh, an opportunity to improve the gap between themselves and the developed nation, to make sure that the moment of the digital dispensation is a, it's a moment for all. So that's uh, very important. And in South Africa, we are also here to actually engage, listen to others, express our views, share our experiences with the other, with the other peers. In general, it's quite good uh, for those number of reasons. There are more reasons if I could share with you. What would you say are the major challenges and opportunities in, in terms of radio communications in South Africa? Uh, the big challenge is connectivity, in particular to the extent that it affects the far-flung areas, poor people. Even if you go to the urbanized provinces in the periphery, you still have the poor people. So to the extent that it needs to be inclusive, it needs to deal with inequality, it's crucial for our country. That's why, for instance, connectivity, connectivity is our main issue, real and meaningful connectivity, in particular for young people, small business, women, and making it more real in ensuring that there's a usefulness of connectivity by training our people. And quite, quite very useful. And the other challenge is uh, you need to be, behave like a developmental state. In other words, participate because the big business who are actually captains of this industry don't always uh, find a common ground with government because there's a tendency for them to select areas where they will make margins. Government is an equalizer by creating conditions so that even commercial guys can be able to go to Fafang Lisa by making our own interventions. We are doing cabling. We are also, uh, there are different measures. One of them is a presidential stimulus, which is putting millions. And at the same time, the, what we call SA Connect 2, they will lay the infrastructure for the small business to do the last, the last mile. In so doing, we're trying to deal with that gap between that is left by the big guys. Uh, and in terms of this conference, what are you hoping some of the outcomes will be from this? Thanks, Max. Uh, one of the more fundamental, the, the most prominent issue, especially for developing countries, is the Resolution 559. Remember in, in WRC 19, this could have been an issue where a lot of unused uh, slots by the developing countries we actually finding themselves in a precarious situation. Uh, an important resolution then, as you know, was taken to put them in front. And then it actually presupposed that they would organize themselves in front, exploit that opportunity. Quite a number of developing countries now have done some work. We hope this conference will put a stamp to secure their slots. That's the major outcome that we're expecting. Excellent. Looking at uh, the future, what are your hopes for the future of South Africa in terms of radio and telecommunications? We, the hopes are many. Uh, as I've already spoken about disadvantaged uh, communities, as, uh, we, we're already connecting in South Africa and trying to up the pace. Already issues like poor children accessing digital books, something they would not do without being connected ability of applying for IDs and everything. Young children from the worst hopeless situation uh, finding an opportunity to interact with this technology so that their creativity uh, can actually be loaded uh, online. There's quite a number of other issues. Uh, 
Uh, I'll give you an example. For instance, there's a village of about 500 rural village uh, homes. We've connected them, we're affirming them some few weeks ago. There in that village, from the capital of the province, which usually in America they call them the state, it's about 315 kilometers. So you've actually collapsed that distance. A lot of things they would have gone to, uh, uh, to, to be sure for, those things are at home. Children, some things they would go to borrow books or to buy books. Now they're from their cell phones, they are able to access those. One chap who was selling chickens in that village, immediately they got an access to a gig for about five rent, which is roughly on average is 90 rand at home. That chap was able to increase his customs at a very short space of time. Quite a number of things. Uh, the schools that are there, um, a lot of digital, uh, a lot of digital act digitized activities, um, the ability for them to access the internet and do research work without leaving the school, either through their cell phones or at school where they are. So there's a lot of issues that are happening and opportunities are very huge, especially for the poor. Of course, those guys who are already running, it gives them even faster speed. Only Gugumbele, Minister for Communications and Digital Technologies, Republic of South Africa. Thank you very much for joining us in the studio and sharing your insights with us. And hopefully we get to catch up with you again in some stage in the very near future. Thanks for the opportunity, Max. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then please check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel and podcasts on our podcast channels, as well as uh, more information at our website, which is www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.